y... Yes, then. Um, how you all doing? Back this week with another video. I hope you're all good. Um, this week, we're going to be looking at how to make a sick Reese. Um, and yeah, it's basically a Reese. I use, as you can probably tell, I use Reese's in all of my tunes. I swear it's all of them. It's not even just some. It's ridiculous these days. Um, so yeah, and it's a, it's, it's a pretty simple synth and it's just a proper staple in drum and bass, I think, in my humble opinion. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to wanted to do a video on this, um, explain how to make a sick reese. So let's get straight into it. Um, so yeah, just so so you know, it's going to be to 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 aim to get something similar to similar to oh, if logic doesn't keep crashing, all my days like that. Um, yeah. So um. So yeah, we're gonna get to something like that. But um, yeah, my logic keeps crashing. I just gotta say, um, so if it crashes, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, I recently updated to Big Sur. It was all a madness. It's a long story. I'm sure you'd be very interested to find out. But yeah, um, maybe I'll do a video on it actually because it's probably quite relevant to producers and if they want to update to Big Sur. Uh, so let's get on with the synth. We're on this channel here. So initiate preset. I guess that's what it means in it in its preset. Um, open up the first one here. Uh, and then open up the second one here. Um, you want to be going down uh, for 20, um, not 20 uh, semitones, but 20 miniature thingies. And then up here uh, for usually around sort of 40. Um, and you can already hear you're getting that, um, that kind of sound, you know, um, where the oscillators are just fighting against each other um and you open up the you know what i open up the filter here um and put a notch on it um original sin does this and um i just think it makes the, the synth sound sick that's a great thing for some just some drive on and if it's good for good old adam then it's it's good enough for me you know jeez um, and yet uh go in here and whack a good old Diode, diode on there. Around there. Uh, you want to stick a stick a chorus on it as well. And yeah, if you did one. A little little reverb on there. Bit. Um, and yeah, have a play around with um, these here. So the further you go, the more um, you know, the more mad it gets. Really, I do, I do quite like to go into the like the eighties, nineties. But to be careful because it can sort of seem to go out of tune. <laughs> But it does sound, it does sound sick. Um, so that is that's the basics in within Serum with the um, uh, uh, with the Reese, uh, and then afterwards you want to just go to um, go to your uh, get like a distortion out. My um, <laughs> yeah, my logic is all over the place right now. I updated my. Uh, yeah, get, I I used to use Predatome and Camel Fat a lot, but look what happened to my <laughs> look what happened to my poor Predatome. Look at it. This was my go-to distortion, and look at it. It didn't survive the Big Sur update. Um, so go to we're gonna go to um, uh, where where was she? I think I've gone past it now. Um, but yeah, use your distortion of choice. Preferably one that doesn't stereo it out as well. Um, so we'll stick with that for now. Obviously, I can't adjust the flipping settings uh, until I get a new distortion or I figure out how to get that one working. Um, and uh, yeah. 
and I got these cool new plugins from Slate Digital. If it does again, if it doesn't crash my computer, which it's been doing all day, so um, and I'm going to use the a saturator, the London saturator on here. Just like a slight character. You know. Um, just for some character, and then uh, yeah. Good little tip as well, depending on what your what type of um reese sound you're going for, but if you little little serum trick, if you put the compressor underneath the reverb on the stack and then put the multi band on, you get it just it sort of flings the sound out. Sort of flings the reverb out. Um that's a good trick. Not just not just for Reese's, I'm not gonna have it on this. Um but just for um your simps in general, uh it's just a good thing to, to try and remember. Um And yeah. Also, another thing to notice. Oh yeah, I got, I'm using a new EQ now. I'm uh, I'm on this. Oh yeah, so the EQ. Um, this is an EQ design I made earlier for the synth. Um, yeah, just try it and just see if you just see what needs notching out or what needs you know just just A Bs. Just see. Just just have a listen to what needs coming out. Um, and then also, one thing that you guys might not know about, I didn't know about it for ages, um, but yeah, the, the, like, the woo-woo bass that you hear in tunes, like, certain, like, jungle tunes and stuff. Yeah, that's the, that's the bass, um, that is used in a lot of tunes as well. Um, that I, that I use in a lot of my tunes as well, I think it's on the intro of this tune. Um, if my logic doesn't crash. Yeah, it's a silly thought. Yeah, so it's on the, it's on the intro of that one as well. Um, and yeah, it's just a good, it's a great synth just to have in your arsenal. Um, uh, just, just to have, uh, to use in your tunes. Um, and yeah, once again, I hope that's been, hope it's been helpful. Um, and, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm really loving the feedback that you guys are giving me from the videos. So keep commenting if you want to see, if it's something you want to see, um, let me know if it's something in particular you want to see. Um, but yeah, I noticed that the Serum video was, um, people were liking in particular. So I'm probably going to do a few more of those as well. Um, and yeah, until next time, big up.